Hi guys, welcome back to part 3 of my Cosmos 2 water cooling build. This is STD F1 Edo. We're going to get straight into it. Um, for those of you that have viewed part 1 and 2, you know the specifications, so I won't go into it again. But essentially now, um, the cables have been installed, the system is operational, up and running. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you the insides. I need to take a, um, tidy the cables a little bit. But again, still not looking too bad. I've custom made a mesh as well to go over the front. Okay, so this in the Cosmos 2 is normally blank, so I've made a um, custom mesh. And I put some lighting behind just to give the um, the water cooling inlet and outlet valve a bit of sexiness. Mounted the hard drive here against a mirror again, so it shows a quite a nice reflection. And the mirror also aids then in keeping the light inside the case. In terms of the coolant, I'm using the Tharis Red from Mayhem's range. Okay, let's go to um, my screen. Uh, where we'll have a look at the temperatures just to see how we're doing. So I'll bring it in full view here. Let's drag it down for you. Okay, so this is um, monitoring the essentially the graphics cards and the maximum temperature that I've achieved today, bearing in mind I've been playing lots of games um, I've been playing Diablo 3, Battlefield 3, um, has been 35 degrees. So I'm going to do a stress test um, or benchmarking test, so I expect those temperatures to go up. But um, I don't expect them to go over 60 or 70 degrees. And I've set it so that the temperatures that will show me while it's running will always show me the highest reading. Alright, so irrespective of what it's doing, it's going to show me the highest reading. I'm going to go to my um, AI suite. I'm going to bring that down as well, the AI suite, and we're going to go to monitor. Again, we're going to check this, the temperatures on um, the AI suite. And we're going to bring that down as well. And we're just going to have a little look then. So the CPU temperature currently is 27. The motherboard's 34, and the sub -zero, the sub zero sensors, which give the ambient temperature inside, is going between 30 and 31, respectively. So I'm going to use um, I'm going to use 3D Mark. So while we just get that set up. Um, Just going to use the basic edition of 3D Mark. Um, I've done a result, so we got a basic. Um, that is the standard, and I'm just going to go straight to benchmark. And then I'm going to run 3D Mark. Now we may crash out to me because I've got this, the various sensors there. It doesn't like running with any other program. But uh, we're just going to see if it allows us to run it so that I can effectively monitor the temperatures.
So this is the basic edition that I'm doing. I'm going to pay for it to be honest and upgrade so I can go to the Windows mode so I can then start to overclock my cards um, live. There we go. As I said guys, it is live, so I'm telling you as it is, unknown error occurred, and that's because I have these programs open. Okay, so as you can see the GPU temperature there was 48 degrees, and the CPU was 30, 35 and 30. So we're going to close these down. Okay, close it again. Then we're going to run it again. It is live, so I'm not going to edit it out, guys, because you guys need to be aware that when you're running these programs, it doesn't like um, other programs running in the background or certain types of programs. So we'll run it again, and I'm sure then um, on this time that there won't be um, any errors. You don't particularly need to see the pretty pictures guys, so I'm just going to put my camcorder down to rest. I mean the, the frames per second might give you an indication as to how I'm doing. So while we're waiting for that to run, I think, save you just looking at a boring screen, um, we'll turn back to, while that's still running, we'll turn back to the inside of the machine. So up on top, we've got three Cooler Master 120s, sickle flow, with a rating of um, 61 CFM. Because of the slim line fan up on top, they actually need a specific type, uh, the, the radiator sorry, they need a specific type of fan so that will give good pressure coming through. I'm putting my hand underneath there, there's some really good air flow coming through on it. So it's doing quite a graphically intensive um, test now. So the combined test is um, 
it's quite uh, quite an intensive test where it tests the CPU and the graphics, obviously, hence combined. So we'll just see how that um, how that works out. Let's see if I can put it down to rest somewhere. We're just waiting for the combined test to load. Nothing else I can show you in the system, guys. So that is loading now. And that's running. As you can see, the FPS will be quite substantially less. Uh, let's have a look here. Well, we just caught it. I think it was 36 point something. So we're going to go to the results, and you're going to see live the results of the test. That becomes there we are, and the particular rating is 22,693. So let's just open open it up a bit. There we go. And see what uh, how we came to that. And where we're scoring. Okay, if there's any questions in relation to the Cosmos 2 or the water cooling build, then feel free to post and I'll be sure to answer them. In the meantime, guys, stay safe, have fun.